Good afternoon, Warren Township Schools. This is Dr. Mingle with our return to school update for August 20th, 2020. Most importantly, we are ready to safely return our students and staff members to the Warren Township Schools with our staff returning on September 1st and our students returning on September 8th. Thank you to our school and district return to school committees, our administrative team, our Board of Education, uh, everybody in the community pulling together. We have worked through our health and safety guidelines and protocols. Our plan has been approved by the state of New Jersey Department of Education, and we are ready to go. As a reminder of our timeline, we will be relaunching registration next week because there are numerous typical summer registration updates that need to take place with all kinds of sign-offs for our acceptable use policy for technology and, and other things like that. There's an important new section about the home responsibility for health and safety during the COVID-19 time, which will include daily attestations from home about a student's symptoms and for staff members from home about their own symptoms that will be taking place through the parent portal. More details will be coming in the registration process next week and in a follow-up video as well. We are doing everything in our power to be able to finalize our homeroom lists and our bus routes for next Friday, August 28th. Uh, you will not be able to access those bus lists and homeroom assignments until the second registration process is completed. There are a lot of moving pieces to this, especially on the bus route side. So uh, I can't promise that we're going to hit our August 28th goal, but that is where we're aiming for for next Friday so that we can get that information out to families. Following week, we have a Board of Education meeting on Monday, August 31st, with a focus on health, safety, and operations. First day for staff on September 1st, first day for students on September 8th. Two other really important updates that I think parents should be aware of as they're in, in this final phase of planning for the reopening. The state of New Jersey Department of Health issued updated guidance, which is you can find in our community briefing today about immunizations. There are no extensions or exceptions to the immunization requirements for students to attend public schools in New Jersey. Very important that you take a look at that. We will be sending additional information out to our rising sixth grade families, as there are uh, several immunizations for sixth graders that um, people may not be as aware of. So we want to make sure you have all that information. In addition, although we will continue to work towards a solution to a food days grab and go type option, we will not have that in place for the opening of the school year. So for at least the first couple of weeks, there will not be a food days option for grab and go lunch. So we want people to be aware of that. Students will have the opportunity to bring a snack. Um, that information will be, uh, there will be more information about that coming, but no food days to open the school year. Quick update on registration. We are at 98% of registration complete as far as which model. Uh, anybody who did not register has been assigned to the hybrid model. Thank you to our ALT families for the 100% participation as of 1030 this morning. And we saw just a very slight tick up in our full distance selection over the last two weeks. So it went from being 18% to 19% of students in the full distance learning option here with uh, the other 81% in the hybrid model. You can see the numbers have slightly shifted at various schools uh, across the district as well as we increase the numbers or as some people requested changes to their model. On that note, we are doing our best to accommodate changes from hybrid to full distance as quickly as we can. It takes a little bit longer to go from full distance to hybrid, but just know that every one of those changes changes bus routing situations and homeroom assignments. So um, that's one of the causes of the slow response time of us being able to get out our homeroom assignments and our uh, bus routes because we want to keep these sections as balanced as possible. So if there is a request for a change, the sooner you can get it to us, the better so that we can finalize everything. So we're ready to go for the first day of school. I also wanted to highlight that we had one of our first big in-person events just this morning with our new staff induction program taking place under the leadership of Mount Horeb School Principal Mr. Cook and Woodland School Principal Mr. Heaney. Obviously it looked and felt different than usual, but in some ways it also looked and felt the way it always does with a lot of excited new staff members who are here to do wonderful things for our, our kids here in Warren Township. We were happy to have them and I know you'll be happy to meet them all soon as well. With that, I'm going to say thank you again for your continued patience and support. We're really excited to be able to um, meet the health and safety guidelines and be ready to open our doors to our families. Have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you soon.